Colon cancer is the most common cancer of the gastrointestinal tract. Patients can present with changes in their bowel habits, anemia, indicating gastrointestinal blood loss, obstruction, rectal bleeding, and even perforation. Colon cancer on CT can range from a bulky and irregular mass to relatively subtle thickening of the wall. It might surprise you that a larger mass will not always cause obstruction. In fact, in this example, the bulky descending colon mass did not obstruct, but the smaller mass in the sigmoid colon did cause obstruction. The mass shown on this sagittal image has the characteristic appearance of an apple core lesion, a term used to describe colon cancers that narrow the bowel lumen. This is an even more subtle example of an obstructive colon cancer, but the dilated colon leading into the mass should make us suspicious of even subtle wall thickening. Colonic adenocarcinoma has the same common routes of metastatic spread as gastric cancer, regional lymph nodes, the liver, and the peritoneum. Metastatic disease in the liver may range from a few relatively small masses to numerous masses throughout the liver, to large coalescing masses replacing much of the liver tissue. Let's wrap up this lesson by taking a look at a patient who presented with abdominal pain and blood in a stool. The first thing to notice in the upper abdomen are several liver lesions. Here they are using liver window. These are concerning for potential metastases, especially if we find a site of primary tumor. Let's scroll through the rest of the abdomen. While the bowel is not obstructed, if we follow the descending colon down, we can find the primary tumor. Here it is, this area of annular thickening and irregularity of the colon wall with some surrounding haziness. There are even some areas of lymph nodes extending out into the mesentery. Let's take a look at the mass on the coronal images. Following the descending colon down, we reach this area of thickening and irregularity. We can see several of those lymph nodes extending off into the mesentery. This is the primary tumor, and together with the liver lesions, gives the diagnosis of metastatic colon cancer. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.